many striking images to come out of the deadly health crisis in Asia. A masked official aiming an infrared thermometer at travelers to screen for symptoms of coronavirus. It's all in an effort to curtail the deadly virus that has now killed more than 2,000 people. But experts like Jim Seffrin say these devices may not be so accurate. I think the greatest harm or danger comes in missing a person who might be feverish and could be, could be actually sick. Seffrin says that officials are using industrial-grade thermometers meant for testing machines, not people. These thermometers are not appropriate for human body temperature measurement because they can be off by as much as 7 Fahrenheit degrees, which is way too inaccurate. We visited the Infrospection Institute, where they do training and certification with infrared thermometers to see how different types of thermometers can often mean inaccurate results. This says I'm a 98.4. This medical grade infrared thermometer said I was about 98.9. So now let's see what is the industrial grade thermometers say the way that they've been doing a lot of these measurements in Asia. Sure. Okay. 94.6. Wow, not even close. This has been consistently off by four or five degrees. Correct. Doesn't surprise me. It's not made for this it's application. Not made for it. And it's not something that I would ever uh, suggest somebody use. Seffrin says that lack of education and training is the main problem. It's said that drastic times call for desperate measures. But one should not be so desperate that we choose something which is ineffective or inaccurate. Now, despite these warnings, manufacturers have reported the demand for thermometer guns has grown so big that it has caused shortages across the world. Guys, back to you. Wow, startling discrepancies. Mm -hmm.